Hello everyone, welcome to the Once Upon a Sketch screencast. My name is Norman Grock and today I'm going to show you a quick tip in Adobe Illustrator about how to use the free transform tool. I'm working in Adobe Illustrator CS55 so everyone knows the version I'm using. Alright, so there are several ways to transform things in Illustrator. You can go up under uh, Effect, Distort and Transform, and Free Transform. And you get this dialog box and you can drag the corners and make whatever you want this little tiki guy to turn into. And that's fine. When I want to transform something, I want to be able to see it in action. With that tool, I can't see what I'm doing. Say I want to put it in perspective on a building. It's hard to do with that tool. So I'm going to show you another way to uh, do that. I'm going to undo that. And now Illustrator has this tool called the Free Transform tool. To get the Free Transform tool to work, you need to already have your item selected. If you don't have it selected, it, it doesn't really work. So, let, all right, for example, it's not selected now. Pick the free transform tool, it doesn't do anything. So you have to have it selected first. Then select the free transform tool. Now, normally the free transform tool will work just like just like grabbing the points on these things. It just pulls, pushes and pulls it. I'm gonna undo all those. But if you hold command on a Mac or control on a PC, while you're doing it, it does something completely different. So, the trick is you need to be moving it first and then hold the then hold the command or control button. And then you can begin to free transform it in whichever way you want. So, remember, click and drag and then hold the button and the free transform tool does its thing. So like I mentioned earlier, I like to use this when I'm putting things in perspective, like say on the side of a building or something like that. Um, normally I do this in Photoshop, it's a lot easier, but if I'm dealing with vector things, this is a great way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my perspective uh, grid, and I'm going to attempt to get this to fit on the side of this grid. So let's put this, I'm just going to line it up here. I'm going to scale it up a bit so that it matches on the top and the bottom. And now remember again, click and then hit command and it moves and then it begins to uh, distort the image. So there's one side and now I'm going to grab the bottom, click and drag and there we go. Puts it into perspective. Like I said, I do this a lot when I need to put, like a say, a logo or something on the side of a building. So there's my tip for the free transform tool. I hope you found it helpful. My name is Norman Grock. If you'd like to find more of my work, you can check out normgrock.com or go to onceuponasketch.com for more great articles and videos like this one. Thanks for watching.